Medical Center over the weekend. The games are held every four years and will provide the highest level of competition that most of these young athletes have ever faced. If they don't move on to the Olympics, this, this is sort of, uh, you know, could be a very pivotal moment in their athletic career. For others, it will be a stepping stone, much like uh, Dylan Armstrong or, you know, some of our, our Olympians that we have today that, uh, you know, they remember the Canada Games experience very well. Not many people make it this far, and it just, it means a lot to be out there and go and have fun. And hopefully do really well. For curling, it's quite amazing to be together for five, like more than two years, I guess, because lots of teams break up for age difference or other reasons. And like for us, be together for five years, it's like we have great team bonding. The kids will make friends, lifelong friends, and, and I believe these kids will be the leaders of our country uh, for years to come. It would be a good experience because we have our juvenile play down a couple weeks after that. So it'll be good, some good practice down there and hopefully bring home some medals. There's actually starting to be a lot of competition for these type of events. Um, you do the whole same process that the athletes go through to get chosen. Um, you're evaluated throughout the years and yeah, it's, it's a real honor. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, like, we're 15 and like, that's pretty young to represent BC, like, it's amazing. <laughs> And Team BC is sending a total of 242 athletes and another 74 coaches and support staff to Halifax.